Ah, whoa, so, ah, what the heck? What is that? Whoa. Uh. What's up guys? We're keeping things real simple today. I've got one rod, one camera, and one type of bait. We're gonna be throwing out live crawfish today into a creek for anything that bites. So let's get to it. Fish on. Good fish. Look at that. Oh, nice. As expected, that's a pretty catfish. That's 90% of what's in here. Love it. I love it, love it, love it. What a beautiful animal. I love fishing for just anything on a creek. There we go. Let's see if there's anything else downstream. I just had a bite. Oh, oh, something. Oh, something's got it. Something's got it. Give him a second to run with it so we can swallow it. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Ah, oh, yes. Fish on. These catfish are strong in here. I'll tell you what. Another nice one. Another nice one. Just kind of. Oh. Okay. I was gonna. I was gonna toss him back in, and he let himself go. Let's keep fishing. Lots of small cats in here. Ooh. Just stick your hand down in that. These baits, you you reach down to grab one of these baits, they'll grab you back. Ah! Now I know there are lots of different ways people like to fish crawfish, guys, and I'm not an expert, and I'm not saying my way is the way, but that's all I'm doing right there, through the base of the tail and up the back. And even though fish, fish can easily disarm them themselves, fish will grab the pincers and rip them right off. I'll do that myself, just to speed the process up. You know, if a bass or a catfish is gonna hit this, I don't want them to hit it to take the claws off and then hit it to take the bait. Cause I might, you know, mistakenly strike when they're just taking the claws. I wanna have that fish take the whole thing at once. Yeah, like you can see how uh, shallow it is right here, but these deep pockets, especially look right there. I don't know what that is. Some type of big piece of garbage. Some type of big piece of garbage <laughs> is gonna, be a pretty good spot for fish to hide under. Fish on. What is that? Oh, it's just another catfish. Oh. Thought it was another gar. In one piece. Look at him go. <laughs> there he goes. Now he's got his bearings about him. Let's have a drop down here. Just sink it down. You gotta think fish are used to having little things fall down or jump down from here, hiding underneath all that. 
Let's just wait for a minute, see what happens. Holes like this, anytime, I mean, imagine the bank is a straight line. And if you have like a, a half circle shape cut out of the edge, it's just, oh, I'm already getting hit. Ooh, fast run, fast run. Fish on. Fish on, there he is, I saw him. Oof. Where are you, buddy? Where are you, buddy? There he is. It's catfish. Beautiful. Look at the pattern, the polka dots. So cool. Really cool fish. Let's get him back and we'll move on further downstream. Nice one. Oh, I think we got a fish on, hang on. Yep, our line's moving. Our line's moving, our line's moving. Fish on, fish on. Probably a catfish. I did see a small gar come up over there though, so we, yeah, catfish. I was gonna say, we don't know for sure. I swear, the irony, these things are called catfish, and yet they all look like they all have the uh, Dalmatian spots. What was that cartoon back in the day, cat dog? I don't remember. Beautiful fish, let's get him back. Oh, he's all the way out there. Oh, look, he took it under that branch. So it was, uh, it looked like it was going one way. He was actually much further out because the line was going straight down under the snag. I think he's still on. Yeah, he's still on. It's another nice little catfish, swing him on in. <sighs> Lots of these. Lots of these in here. Just really multiple times many more of these than anything else. Nice little fish. Let's get him back and uh, let's move spots. Let's get him back and move spots because I'm going to try something else. Just gentle, gentle, gentle. There we go. Not quite as far as it looks, but still. People always get mad, you know? I dropped the fish once from a height, not much more than this at all, and somebody was like, that's the same thing that would happen to a human who was dropped out of an airplane at 20,000 feet. It's like, I don't think you understand how biology or physics works. Ah, whoa, so, ah, what the heck? Surprise take, something hit it. I was not expecting a take. What is that? Whoa, something just came out of nowhere and smashed it. Ah. Uh, Strong fish, this one. It's another catfish. That's, that's the biggest fish of the day so far. It's a nice one. Oh, it's an alligator. You guys see that? Look at that little alligator right there. Boom, there he goes. <laughs> All right, one final location. Okay, it's moving quick. 
Oh, is that a turtle? Oh, it is. Lord God. Buddy, buddy. Come on, man. Ugh. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Get out of here. Go. Hmm, my foot's moving away. At a pretty fast rate. Fish on. Or something's on. Yeah, it's a fish. Oh, oh, it's a big fish. It's a powerful fish. Holy sh crap. What is that? Is that a boat? It's a, oh my God. Is that a bullhead? Is that what that is? Oh, he's beautiful. Wow. Whoa. Wow. I don't know if that's a, just a channel or not, but he's gorgeous yellow. Get in the net, buddy. That is fish of the day. Oh, he's just a beautiful fish. My goodness. He's a channel. He's just a, he's a, such a nice channel. Look at that. Chunky, chunky fish. Man, he is fat. What are you eating, buddy? Wow. Well, he kicked out of my hand, as they tend to do. That's why I was trying to hold him out over the water. But really, that was nice. That was a beautiful fish. Oh, my goodness. Well, I could probably keep fishing for a while yet. However, it's been a long day. As you saw, it was bright and sunny when we started, and now the sun has set. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, check out the link in the description for the Patreon page. Also, check out the other link in the description for these Waterland Fishing Optics sunglasses, invaluable tools to have. It's very important to have a good pair of fishing sunglasses, and there are none better than the ones you can get at Waterland Fishing Optics. And, lucky for you, if you use my code WILDLIFE right here, you save 15% when you check out. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see more of. I'm going to try to accommodate some of the more popular requests that I've been getting. So live crawfish was a request. Um, survival fishing is a request. We're going to do that soon. So, so let me know what you want to see. I'm going to do my best to make it happen. More is coming, guys. Stay tuned. Watch this video. Share it if you can. More is coming. And until it's here, I will see you guys later.